Morning everybody, welcome along. It's uh, almost time for our Tuesday circuit. So if you're uh, getting yourself ready, get yourself a drink. Uh, make sure you've got some fluids available so you can get yourself a drink. And uh, have a towel available if you want to. If you've got any weights that you want to use, then get those uh, around as well. Remember you can use things like bottles filled with water, sand, soil, um, bags of food if you like, as long as it's a, a, a you know, a static thing that's the word i'm looking for so you don't want stuff that's moving around basically but if you've got something you can utilize then feel free to do that um is our 11 a.m circuit as always we've got a uh, an easier option a medium option and a harder option so a basic and intermediate and uh, a um harder and i can't think of the word i'm thinking of for that Voice of, the, voice of the classes is letting you down, as I saw myself called the other day. Um, have a look at your RPE scale, right? Remember from our warm-up that we're looking at around about the 9, 10 mark, okay? Possibly up to about 11, as far as our warm-up is concerned. And then after that, uh, when you get into your main circuit, you're probably looking around about the 13 mark, okay? So um, work within your own scale. Um, take a break if you need to. If you want to have a go on the first time round, we can do the circuit twice. If you want to have a go on the first time round uh, and have a look at how it feels, um, and then try a, a harder option the second time, feel free. Remember, you can always move up and down through the through the, the levels as well. So there's a lot of opportunity there for you to to take it to a level that is right for you. Take a rest if you need to. Keep yourself hydrated, as I say. Keep drinking, um, and we'll get ourselves ready to go. So we'll just say hello to everybody. Uh, today you've got. Uh, We've got Ben, we've got Becky, uh, we've got uh, Nathan, and we've got Lee hiding away over there. Uh, morning to Tony, morning to Leslie, who's just joined us as well. Um, so let's get ourselves ready to go. We're going to have a bit of a warm up firstly, so uh, everyone's spaced out. So if you want to just start with the march for me, folks, um, with this march, what I want you to be doing is no, no, leave your arm swings for the time being, mate. <laughs> Just, just your legs, just your legs to start off with. Uh, we'll, come, we'll come over here to have a look at some feet movement. <laughs> Don't make me laugh, I hurt my ribs. <laughs> um, we're coming down onto the toes firstly, onto the ball of the foot and then rolling through to our, our heels. So what we're avoiding is any stamping of the feet down, so it's a gentle move. How are you, Ben? All right. You're looking very serious today. You're in the zone. Oh, there we go. Let's put some arm swings in then. And we have to come to league when we go to arm swings, don't we? So we're driving them from the shoulders. And you might want to come a bit more like this, look. Uh, this sort of arm swing, a bit more controlled. <laughs> but if you want to, you can go Lee style if you want to, look. Do you, know, um, <laughs> do you know that end of the night when you're coming out of the club and you're sort of singing along and going, ah, you're out of care in the world? That's what it reminds you of, doesn't it? So, um, again, thinking about your foot placement, think about your posture as well for me. So, you've got the um, knees soft the whole time. Um, you're lifting your shoulders up, back and down, growing a little bit taller. All right, from there, let's take it to a little heel dig in front. I don't know why I'm looking at a chair then. I just turned it round. It was just looking at an empty chair. Not just an empty chair, though, an empty chair with a cushion on it, look. Um, so, a little heel dig in front there. And if you want to, you can put a bicep curly there at the same time as well. Let's just go over here. Yeah, we've got uh, Tony, we've got Leslie, and we've got Deborah with us. So do you want to say hello to Tony, Leslie, and Deborah? <laughs> it's almost legible, that wasn't it? <laughs> right, okay, from there, let's come back out and let's take it to a step forward and a step back. So. But part of a lunge, but we're not going too deep, okay? So we're going forward, and then take one backwards for me as well. You see, Nathan was listening. What, you know? I did, yeah, but you know. It's that music you listen to, Lee. Your ears have gone, haven't they? <laughs> and change to the other leg if you haven't, so you can alternate it either side, or you can change to your other leg as well. So just getting you used to some of the movements that might be coming up a little bit later on. All right, let's bring it into a march then again. So coming back into your march, let's take the arms out to the side in a lateral position. You're coming up to about shoulder height. No height, you're all right. Your shoulders are a bit tight. Well, what are we doing? <laughs> 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 
<laughs> yeah. Nah, I'm, I'm sorry, Lee, but after that, we, we need to know now. We're not moving on. To, no, I'm joking. I'm joking. But, you know, you made that so much worse than it really was. <laughs> so just lifting up to your shoulders and down, controlling this movement. All right, from there, bring it back in. Take the feet to shoulders width. Let's have a little knee bend. So a partial squat. Yeah, don't go too deep. We'll come down and we'll have a look at here, look. So just have a look at the posture. What I want you to focus on is keeping that back straight. So imagine you're sitting down into a chair. Uh, change your mind and stand back up. That's the motion you're looking forward to. Don't hinge from your hip forwards. Keep your uh, chest lifted and keep breathing. All right, from there, come back in. Let's take it back into a march and then bring it up into a knee lift for me. So bring the knee up to about uh, hip height parallel to the floor, controlled movement as well. So think about your foot placement once more. You're coming down onto the balls of the foot, rolling through to your heels. So we've got a nice soft landing onto the floor, no stamping. I'm always wary of what's going on behind me over here. <laughs> With ben. ben always puts some additional moves in, doesn't he? <laughs> All right, from there, let's bring it back into a kick up towards your bum at the back. You're right, mate. Just getting into the zone, Well, yeah. Well, in that case, you've got a very different zone face to Ben's. <laughs> Yours is a more confused look. <laughs> That's just normal. Oh, is it? Oh, it's my normal face as well, mate. Right, okay, from there, come back into your march. Uh, let's take it a little bit bigger again with this march. Not faster, just bigger. And let's put some arms in with a, a rotation around. Do what, sorry? <laughs> I, I actually don't know, it's just registered what you said. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> and the, change direction. Yeah, we can do the canoe move. Change direction with those arms. <laughs> Lovely job, and then from there, come back in. Let's take it to another lunge forward this time only, yeah? A little bit deeper than it was last time, but still not all the way down. Now, if you feel at all unbalanced, take a wider stance with this one. So start with your feet, uh, sort of shoulder width. There you go, Ben's just done it for me, there you go. Uh, if you feel a little unsteadier, normally we'd have our feet in line with our hips, but go with where you feel comfortable. Also, if you do feel at all unsteady, make sure you've got something fixed that you can hold on to. So have a wall available, a work surface, a table, anything like that. Come back into your march. And then from there, let's bring the hands out in front and let's have that canoeing motion. So you're gonna bring the, the hands together at the front and you're gonna drive it across the body into a um, canoeing type motion, yeah? So a little bit of a twist through the trunk there. And we'll come across to Ben for us. He always does a great canoeing motion. There we go. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> and then hold it there. Come back in for me. Take the feet so they're shoulders width and just give me a trunk rotation around to the side. Try and keep your hips locked, all right? So try not to move your hips. Now, if you feel that your hips are moving, what you can do uh, with this one is sit yourself down and your bum should stay in contact with the chair. So if you feel one of your buttocks lifting, you're moving your hips. We really just want to focus into that trunk. <laughs> Sorry, um, <laughs> that was really good. Okay, from there, stay there and come down to the side, back up into the centre, little pause in the centre, and then down again to the other side for me. Excellent. Now just take it to where you feel comfortable. Use your legs as a guide. That'll give you an, uh, an idea of whether you're improving as far as your mobility is concerned as you carry on doing these. We want to make sure we come straight down to the side and straight back up. Don't come forward or backwards. And then hold it there, bring it back into a march, and let's make it a nice, big, strong march this time. Bring those arms back in with a swing and really focus onto that drive backwards so you're working into your shoulders. So really mobilize through your shoulders. Get those arms warmed up for us. Get the joints warmed up. Get the muscles warmed and everything mobilized. 
Excellent job. <clears throat> All right, to finish off there, keep that march going, but let's take the arms to a swim motion. So into a uh, front crawl. Sorry, it's your shoulders again. I do apologize, Lee. We'll come over here so you can have a rest if you need to. And then make it a breaststroke. <laughs> Brilliant. And then from there, come back in. Kick those heels up towards your bum. And if you can, as you kick the heels up to bum, um, put your other hand to you to tap it behind you. So left ankle. Yeah. So left to right hand and right to left hand. Excellent. Hey, you managed that quite well, Lee. Hey. Whoa. And then from there, bring it into a knee lift and take the opposite hand across to the opposite knee. So bring it up high to start off with and then bring it down across towards the opposite. <laughs> Lee, I'm sorry, I haven't got a, I haven't got a ring I can throw you. <laughs> I'm looking for a life vest I can send you to stop you driving. <laughs> Brilliant, I'll bring it back into March there and then come on in, we'll get ourselves ready to go. So as I say, we have a, um, a base option, an easy option, a medium option and a harder option for everyone. We're starting with a sit to stand. And our starting option here is with Becky who's going to demonstrate it to you today. So just have a look at the position firstly. In the front third of the chair, feet flat on the floor, heels in line with knees, okay? Then you want to bring your heels slightly back so they're just behind your knees. Sit tall, and we're going to stand up, pushing the weight down through the heels, and stepping back down. They've got a little knee lift in there as well, so did you see the option in there as well? So if you feel comfortable with that, add a little knee lift in as well. Lovely. Thank you, Becky. We come to our, um, we come to our medium option, which is Lee. So we have the hands across the chest. <clears throat> this makes it a little bit harder in itself. And we're standing up both feet on the floor and then raising one foot and I was just about to say lowering yourself with control <laughs> um, now in, in seriousness what you might find is you're stronger on one leg than the other uh, so you might find it a bit more challenging on one side than the other one and then we come to Nathan who's the uh, harder option so here we have the hands in front we're raising up on one leg and we're sitting down on one leg so you see, you see the difference so, onto one leg and changing every time, stand to sit. Now, the important thing to remember with this one is if you feel unbalanced, I'll get Nathan to show this to you in a second, so if when you come up you feel unbalanced, step out, put your foot down, yeah? Recover, thank you Nathan. All right, so, we have a minute to go. Uh, get yourself ready, and, oh, hang on, I've just, I've pressed the button twice. They were gonna do two minutes, should we leave it as that? Yeah, let's leave it as that. Okay, off we go. So, <clears throat> have a look uh, at Becky here. This is what we're aiming for as far as the, the lowering is concerned. Controlled lowering down into that seat. Don't let yourself come down and plop into it, okay? So control it, and here we can see from Lee, standing up on two feet, bringing it down with just one foot, but his toes are close to the floor. So have a look at the toes, they're close to the floor. And again, remember you can step out if you need to. He was, he's been doing that perfectly all morning. <laughs> Put him under pressure. And Nathan, as I say, he's changing leg every time. Remember those recovery steps are there. Now you'll notice, even with Nathan and with Lee, where they're um, doing it one-legged at some point, or totally, as it is in the case with Nathan, the posture is still strong, look, and it's still controlled down. <clears throat> And that is your minute. Okay, great job. Well done, everybody. That's not easy to do. Our second one is a single leg and a lateral raise. So our easier option is starting down here with Ben. So we're taking the lateral raise out to the side. Just coming to about shoulder height, not really higher than that. No weights in there. And onto his toes at the back. So it's a split stance onto the, uh, onto the floor. 
and I'll tell you in the 30 seconds is up so you can change your other leg. Okay, we come to Becky. Here we have one arm with the weight. So again, it's the opposite hand to the foot. So see, we have got the foot on the back and it's just the toes that are down onto the foot. Uh, do you do ballet? No, very ballerina type step at the back there. Look right onto the toes. I know, I'm impressed. Uh, and then we go to Lee. And here, we're really challenging Lee's balance today. Um, we've got one foot. Can I, let me just show you, because... No, no, go on. It's close to the floor, which is ideal, yeah? So close to the floor, so he can put it down if he needs to. He doesn't have to come right up. Um, so you just, it's on one leg, balancing, but step out if you need to or put that foot down. Again, it's the opposite hand to the opposite foot. Oh, no, you had the same hand, same foot, didn't you? Yeah, so same hand, same foot. Okay, um, and there's, there's a, that actually there's an important reason to that because you're balancing yourself out. So, yeah. All right, are you ready? Let's go! So, <clears throat> posture still strong, Lock. I can see for all three from here, standing tall, controlled motions. It's not about how fast you throw that weight up or your arms up into the air. It's about controlling it. Yeah, lovely job. So when we get to our 30 seconds, we're gonna change the leg over. And you'll notice that the difference here is that we've got, so take a change there for me, folks. And off we go again with our other 30 seconds. <clears throat> Remember here with uh, the harder option, that foot can touch down if you need it to. You don't have to keep it up all the time. It's better that you're safe and balanced than um, putting yourself at risk. So feel for the floor if you need to and use it, yeah? Excellent. Good control here, as you can see. And we're driving that up and down. And that is your minute, well done. Okay. Station number three is our toe to heel and rotate. So, easier option. We're with uh, Nathan for our easier option. So, <clears throat> here you'll notice the feet are together. Have a look. Yep. So the feet are close together, so we've got a small base of support to work from. Hands out in front and twisting through, rotating from side to side. A little pause in the middle to regain yourself and then across. We come to uh, Ben, who is our medium level here, and we've got that split stance again here. So we're onto our back foot, onto our toes, and we're rotating out about chest height. And then we're coming to Becky, and I just want to show you the feet before Becky does anything else, okay? So can you see the difference? The feet are in line, heel to toe. They don't have to be touching, but they're right close to each other if they're not touching, okay? All right, Becky, away you go. So, with that rotation is there. Now, in all seriousness of this, and again, I'll get Becky to show you, if you feel unbalanced, step out, yeah? You can always come back in. You can step to the front, you can step to the side, anything, yeah? Recover yourself, don't be afraid to get yourself balanced again. All right, are you ready? Let's go! So, here, try and really focus on gaining that rotation and focus on your balance. Now, make sure your knees are soft if you're going for your easier option, you're not locking them out because that will aid as far as your balance is concerned. It is challenging this. So again, the same as I said for Becky with, uh, with Ben here, if you're going for the medium option. If you need to put your foot out to regain your balance, do, yeah? You can always come back in and reset. Um, work yourself through the level. So if you wanted to try a higher level here, you can. Right, change over your other side. So if you're in the split stance or you're in the tandem stance, as Becky was, you've changed over. Still keep going with that top rotation. Obviously with our easier option, you don't need to change. You can stay where you are. And even though it's not a split stance of any kind, with this one here, with our easier option with Nathan, again, if you need to step out, if you feel yourself unbalanced, bring those feet apart and reset. Go for it again. Try and keep that weight lifted. Try and keep it about chest height if you can. And with this one, the longer you make the arms, the harder you're going to make it for yourself as well. That is your time up. So, <clears throat> next time round, if you want to stay at the level you are, but try and make it a bit harder, you can extend the arms away a little bit longer, and also you can bring it in. Okay, single leg punch-outs. 
Okay, so in our um, easy corner, we have Puncha. <laughs> I can't think of a name for him. Uh, we have Lee. Lee the Legend Tompkins in our E corner with his single punch outs. There we go, show us again. <laughs> and then we come to Nathan the Nailer from Tamworth. <laughs> and we've got weights added in there as well this time. And Ben the Bruiser, bring it in. <laughs> oh, look at those guns. One leg, yeah? So it's a single stand as far as this is concerned. Again, if you need to put that foot down, do, all right? You're going to call out when your 30 seconds is up so you can change your leg, which is in the front, and your staggered position. Are we ready? Let's go! So here we're trying to keep the shoulders and the arms level. So we're trying to keep the levels up, uh, the arms up about chest to shoulder height. Balance and focus. Look at that focus there, look. Look at that. <laughs> scared. I scared myself then and I knew what was coming um, here we go with uh, our medium option so we've got that split stance controlled motion through see the twist in the uh, arms as they come forward and then here with Ben focus as ever that's your 30 seconds change over so change your lead leg and off you go again um, and again don't be afraid to take the foot out if you need to Keep a look at the posture as well. So let's have a look. Can you see? Everybody's got a nice straight back. Shoulders are back and down. We're trying to keep that posture strong. Um, and that's what we want. We don't want to put any pressure onto the back, really. If you need to take a rest, take a rest. And then come back in. If you need to step in, then feel free to step in as well. But try and keep that split stance and try and keep that rhythm going. Nice rhythmic movements. There you go. That is your minute. We're moving on to our multi-directional lunges. Now, you could also call this correctional stepping. Um, so this is uh, something, if we ever lose our balance, this is something you can bring into play as far as that's concerned. So we're gonna lunge in various directions. So stepping forward, stepping out to the side, and stepping backwards. All right, now we'll get, Becky just do that one more time so we can see. Heel goes down first when you step forward, toe comes down when you step sidewards, and toe goes down first when you step backwards. Remember that pattern. Thank you, Becky. Moving on to our medium option, we have Lee here in our medium position. And here it's a bit of a bigger move. So you can see it's more of a lunge as it comes forward. The knee's coming down a bit further. Again, heel comes forward on the front, toe goes down first on the side, and toe goes down on the back. Change leg every time. So take a pause if you need to, to change your leg. And then we come to Nathan, who's deeper still, and a little bit of a pause in there. Can you see that? Okay, so stepping forward again, heel down on the forward step, toe down on the side lunge, and then back with the toe down again. All right, are you ready? Let's get ourselves ready, and off we go. Lovely, so changing foot every time, posture still staying strong, shoulders are back and down, knee staying soft, and think about the leg that's doing the movement, Think about the leg that's doing the supporting as well though, okay? So focus onto that leg as well. You want to make sure that you don't overstep, all right? So what I mean by that is we'll catch Nathan on his next one forward, look. Have a look at where his front knee goes to when he steps forward. There you go, look. See, no further forward than the shoelaces. Have a look where it goes when it goes backwards. So the front leg, again, the front knee comes no further forward than the shoelaces. That keeps the pressure off the knee. You take it to the level you feel comfortable with. So whatever the range you're obtaining is, that is the correct range, okay? If you can take it a little bit deeper, try to, but work within your own comfort zone. Keep breathing throughout. Don't hold your, own, your breath at any point in time and focus on those foot positions. Lovely. Okay, we move on there from a rotate and a press with a single leg. Okay, so uh, this is our medium, our hard, easy and our hard option. So we have Ben in our easier position to start off with. Um, split stance here. <clears throat> uh, we're bringing the hand from its central position. We're taking the hands up diagonally across with a rotation through the trunk. Have a look at the feet. Both feet are flat on the floor, okay? We come to our medium one. Thank you, Ben. Bex is in our medium position. And here, same movement with the upper body, but have a look at the feet. We're back onto those toes at the back with that split stance. Again, I'm gonna tell you 30 seconds when uh, we reach that, so you can change your lead leg. And there's a weight involved there as well. We come to our uh, harder option, which is Lee. 
asking Lee to balance again. So again, can you see the foot? It's off the floor and we're taking it into the centre and rotating up and across. It doesn't matter. That proves the point, yeah? So in that one, keep your feet close to the floor. So keep your balanced foot, your leggy lifting close to the floor so you can pop it down if you need to, okay? You did that on purpose to demonstrate, didn't you, Lee? There you go, see? You ready? Off we go. So this rotation, and the big difference you'll notice is the foot placement, as I say. So uh, in our easy position, both feet flat on the floor. We've got a staggered stance with onto the toes at the back in our medium. And our harder option, we've got one leg lifted off the air. Uh, back is staying straight. Work to your own level. So if you can't take it too high above your head, just take it to where you feel comfortable. But bring it back in towards you in the centre and go back up. So it's just an upward motion from your chest. We're not bringing it all the way down. That's your 30 seconds. Change over your legs. So it's not like the wood chop that we've done before. Yeah, It's a, a press up from our chest change your direction every time and again with this balance one if you need to pop that foot down every now and again do regain your balance yep keep going keep breathing focus on your posture still work within your own level again again it's not about the speed it's about the technique all right so stay focused stay driven stay in the workout and as far as your league concerned Lee, stay on one foot that's it come on you can do it there you go that is your minute. That is a tough one, especially if you've gone for your hard option on that one. This is our last one of this circuit. This is our split stance bent over row. <clears throat> okay, so Nathan is our starting position. So again, both feet flat on the floor. Can you see the heel is slightly lifted, but not much. It's it, the, the majority, I'll put, I'll put my teeth in. The majority of the foot is on the floor, okay? A slight hip hinge and no weight in there, but driving those elbows backwards. Just gonna to come to the back so we can see the, the position for the elbows. Look, can you see there how the elbows are tucked in? Thank you, Ben Nathan. <clears throat> we come to Ben, who's in our medium position. Now, onto the toes at the back here. Uh, we've got some weights there, and we're taking the weights slightly out to the side, so we're more into a fly-type position here, yeah? Um, onto the toes at the back, balance the front knee. Look, is no further forward than shoelaces, so we're not putting any strain onto that front knee. And then we come to, to Becky, uh, who's got the balance challenge this time. So uh, exactly the same as Lee's been doing a couple of times here, the back toe, in this case, is lifted off the floor, but close to it. So if you need to pop it down, you can. Excellent balance there, by the way, Becky. Have a word with Lee afterwards. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Are you ready? Let's go. Sorry, Lee. So again, you can see here <clears throat> with Nathan, uh, the foot is, majority of the foot is on the floor at the back there. It's a controlled movement. Have a look at that posture. Can you see the nice straight back for everybody? You can probably see everybody in line there. Uh, a good straight posture throughout, which is what we want. I'll tell you when your 30 seconds are up and you can switch across to uh, start again for me on the other leg, okay? Drive it through, control. More of a hip hinge as far as uh, Ben is concerned in our, in, in our intermediate or medium position. As you can notice with Becky that there's not so much of a hip hinge the, on the one side, but there's a definite hip hinge on the other one. So there's a bit of a straight line. That is your 30 seconds. Change over your lead leg. Okay, so again with Becky there, just to finish off what I was talking about there. The front leg, as you can see in this instance now, the leg that is doing the balancing, there's a definite hip hinge. On the other side, the leg is straight out. So you're focusing into your hips on one side at a time here. Uh, we've got a definite hip hinge as far as we're concerned with everybody else, but various, varying degrees. And then we have Nathan here. Again, foot, majority of foot is on the floor. That is your minutes. Move on, move on. Right, okay, you're gonna have a little march on the spot. Have a little walk around before we go through all of these again, look. Okay, so first circuit done. First circuit is done. Um, let me just turn this around. <clears throat> Can't get the camera to turn. Technology, eh? First circuit is done. So have a drink. Go and pay visit if you need to, but keep your feet moving, all right? Don't stop. Keep active so that we're not letting that blood pressure and that heart rate come down too much. We want to stay um, keeping moving, keeping active, so we, we keep the blood pumping. And we stay warm, basically. We don't want to cool down too much. 
All right, we're gonna go around that circuit again. Now remember, as I said before, if you wanna challenge yourself a bit more, try take it to the next level. It doesn't have to be a huge difference. You'll notice with a lot of those, just by adding a, a bit of a balance in there, you've got that additional level within there. So you don't have to make a huge change as far as it's concerned. And also remember with all of those ones where balance is concerned, if you need to pop a foot down to regain your balance, then do it. That's the right thing to do. Work within your own level, work within your own range, work where you're comfortable. Whatever your range is, is the right range. That's all you need to remember, okay? Um, as far as our um, RP level is concerned, we should have been hitting around about the 12, 13 mark on that. We may even touched 14, but really we're not looking to go much higher than that. Again, this time you're looking for exactly the same. All right, so we're gonna go through the whole circuit again one more time. And as I say, try and push yourself a bit harder if you can. If you feel comfortable with it, if you feel ready with it, go with it. Let's have a look at our, uh, our options here again. So, our sit to stand, you can quite easily make that a little bit more difficult by adding that change of arm position in or um, by lifting one foot off the floor as you sit down or taking it to standing on one leg and sitting on one leg. As far as this single leg lateral raise is concerned, um, the, the change from easier to harder is not so easy because you need the addition of weight, but you can add in a balance on one leg and that will give you a, a, a higher option. Toe to heel and rotate, you can change your foot position quite easily there to, to change the intensity. <clears throat> Single leg puncher again, you can, uh, from easier to medium involves weights, but you can put that balance in there that will have that similar effect for you, okay? Multi-directional lunges, the depth of the lunge is the main thing that's gonna help as far as increasing that intensity is concerned. So again, you can try it and quite easily come back down. <clears throat> Rotate, press the single leg, again, that is about balance. So to go from our easier option to one of the harder ones, involves weight being in there but you can put that leg challenge in there so even take it to the uh, complete split stance on your toes uh, as opposed to having the foot down on the floor most of the time and that's going to give you that additional in, uh, intensity in there likewise with your split, span, split stance and bent over row all right so try and challenge yourself go a little bit harder if you can but remember to work within your own range, all right? So if you wanna bring it back down again, you can. Let's bring everybody back in in a moment. Make sure you've had a good drink. Make sure you've had a, a bit of a, a rest, but your feet are still moving. And we'll get ourselves ready to go again. So we'll take it round again one more time. We're starting off with our sit to stand again. Uh, we'll do it uh, with our easy, medium, hard again. So again, with our easier option, we have Becky who's just doing a standing up, lifting the knee and sitting back down, yep. Okay, we go to Lee, uh, who has his arms in front, uh, crossed them this time as opposed to up on his shoulders. He's standing up on both feet and he's lowering down with some control on one foot. <clears throat> and then we come to Nathan, who um, is sitting and standing on one leg. Okay, so changing leg every time, as everybody is, um, for their knee lift or their stand or their uh, sitting down on one leg or standing and sitting on one leg, but one leg at a time, okay? <clears throat> right, are we ready? Are you okay there, Lee? Yeah. Lost your cushion? Yeah, I've got Okay, let's go! Was it the cushion that was doing it? Yeah. Oh, no, it wasn't. Okay, <laughs> so we lift and we lower. Remember that knee lift? We'll go to Nathan, we'll, give, uh, we'll come back to Lee in a moment for our medium options. So, one leg stand, one leg sit. Remember those step outs are there if you need them. Lee is raising with both feet on the floor and then sitting down with one leg lifted. Now again, you don't have to lift that leg too high. You take it to where it's comfortable for you. Keep yourself going. I've pressed the wrong button, I've just made it two minutes. Okay, what the hell? It's okay, you have 30 seconds left. Keep going, keep going. Try and focus on your uh, posture again for me. So try, and, try and stay strong and controlled. Now in all seriousness, if you, if you struggle with one of these, bring it down to another level, even if it's only for a few, and then change back to where you were. Likewise, if you want to take it to, so um, I'm sure we could, <clears throat> we'll do this quite easily with, with Becky here. So Becky, do you want to do one just sitting down with the leg raised, so as Lee is doing? So there you go. There you can make that option, thank you. Just to show that you can quite easily go from your easier to your hard option, and you can easily go from your easy, medium option to your hard option 
by just sitting and standing on one leg. We'll give Lee a chance on that. So show us a, a one leg stand and one leg sit. That's okay. There you go, see? So uh, it's easy to be done. That is your minute, well done. I uh, just wanted to show you how easy it can be to change up or down um, with some of these to give it a shot, see how you feel with it, yeah? Um, I've just shown you what that is and I forgot to read it myself. Single leg and lateral raise. Okay, so we have uh, Ben in our easier option here. So we're onto our toes at the back. <clears throat> and taking those arms out to the side. I feel as though you should be making the sound of an eagle or something when you do that. You know, Wah! Or something, you know? <laughs> I don't know why. Uh, <laughs> probably because both arms are coming out to the side. <laughs> and then we have Becky who has one. One arm coming out, and you'll notice, in all seriousness, <laughs> that's it, in all seriousness, it's the opposite arm to leg, so that you're maintaining that balance. Now we come to Lee, and Lee is balancing on one leg. Now here it is the same, yeah, it's got opposites. So um, we have the one foot lifted close to the floor, so you can step out of it though if you need to, okay? Let's get ourselves ready to go then. Uh, let's do this. So into position, I'll tell you when you're 30 seconds are there and you can go for it. Um, have a look at the posture again. So strong, back, shoulders back and down, chest lifted, staying tall and controlled. Have a look at the knees as well. So can you see the knees and the supporting legs for everybody? Look, they're slightly bent. We're not locking them out. Um, especially when you come to, to Lee's here, you come to the hard rocks where you are balancing. Keeping that knee slightly soft on the supporting leg is going to help as far as that balance is concerned. That is your 30 seconds. So change over to your other leg in front. And again, take it away. Again, if you don't have weight in here, then um, control it. So think, think that you're resisting against something. So as you bring the arms up and as you bring them down, you're trying to lift something heavy and you're pushing it back down. Now again here, if you wanted to try moving from your medium to your higher level, it's something you can try quite easily. You're in the position already and you can come back down. Likewise, if you're in the higher position and you want to drop down to the medium position, you can do that as well. That is your minute, well done. Good control there, everybody. Uh, toe to heel and rotate. So this is our tandem stance. So this is gonna challenge your balance. So don't be afraid to take any recovery steps out you need. So we'll just have a look at the feet again. It's that narrow start, so it's a small base of support that we're working from, and that's what's going to give you your balance challenge here. Adding to that, we're actually turning, and you'll notice that uh, Nathan's turning his head in line with it as well. Now that head turn is going to challenge your balance as well, because you lose a fixed point of contact with your eyes. We come to Ben, and Ben is in our medium position here. We're onto a split stance this time, onto the toes at the back, the weight is pushed away. Um, again, if you wanted to make that one a little bit easier, if you needed to for a, sh for a couple, you could bring the weight in towards you. And then we come to uh, Becky. And Becky has the, uh, what we call a tandem stand. So there it is from the side, look. They're in line, yep. So think about walking a tightrope. Weight is away, and again, we're twisting. Now again with this one, if you feel unbalanced at all, take a step out, yep. And also, you could bring that weight in a bit closer. Ready for your start? Let's go! One minute and count him. So, try and keep the hands, whether they have weight in there or not, about chest height. Control the movement. Seriously think about your balance. So if you feel yourself going off balance, step out. Come back into it. You can reset and go again. It doesn't matter. Now this tandem stance doesn't have to be heel to toe. You can have a gap between them. What you don't want is a huge space. So you don't want the same sort of space that we have with the, the medium one. That is your 30 seconds. Change over your lead leg. So set yourself back up again into that position and away you go. Keep breathing regularly through this as well. So nice deep breaths in and out. And try and keep focusing. Lee's wielding a ruler behind, look. The great thing is, you'll notice, no one's scared. Everyone's just, everyone's just laughing, Lee. <laughs> they obviously admire you a great deal. All right, moving on, we have our single leg punch outs. So, back down to our easier option here with Lee. 
So, split stance again. So, I'm going to tell you the 30 seconds. Arms are lifted to about shoulder height, and it's that continuous rhythmic punch out. Yeah? We come to uh, Nathan, who's in our intermediate position. And here we've got the split stance again. We've added a weight in. So, that's the main difference between the two. I'll tell you when your 30 seconds is up, and away you go. We get to bend for the harder option, and it's a balance again. So, there's a lot about balance in this uh, circuit this week. Okay? Again, don't be afraid to put that foot down if you need to. Choose which one you're going to go for. And let's get ourselves ready to go, and off we go. So, split stance, onto the toes at the back. That counts for your easier with Lee, and your uh, medium with Nathan. The difference, if you have a look between the two, look, is, um, well, there's a few differences. There's hair for a start, look. Um, it's about 30 years, I think. <laughs> Sorry, Lee. Um, no, the, the difference is the weight. The position, you'll notice in all seriousness, is exactly the same look. That's your 30 seconds change over your lead leg. So the stance is the same. The back position is the same. Where the weights are is exactly the same. It's just the fact that there's weight added into there. Now, the difference we go, when we go between Ben and Lee, uh, it's not Ben and Lee, sorry, Ben and Nathan, is that leg being lifted. If you need to uh, pop that leg down, feel free to do so. Take a quick look at Ben's face, yeah? Um, only because, um, for one moment, he was biting his bottom lip. And, and all I want to say is don't hold your breath, okay? While you're doing that, uh, especially when we're balancing, we can, we can focus and we can hold our breath, and you don't want to do that. Try and keep breathing. Uh, that was the only reason I was mentioning your face, I promise. <laughs> was there anything else? Uh, just to illustrate the fact you need to breathe. Multi-directional lunges. Here we have Becky in our easier position. So, stepping out to the front, stepping out to the side, stepping out to the back. Heel comes down at the front, toe hits first at the side, toe hits first at the back, and you'll notice we'll just get this one started, and then I'll move, changing leg every time. All right, we come to Lee, who's our uh, medium position here. It's exactly the same as Becky was just doing. It's just a bit bigger, that's all. So we've increased the range of motion, which is going to increase the uh, intensity for you, yeah? Um, work within your own balance here as well, though. So if you feel challenged balance-wise, stepping backwards and forwards, take the foot a little bit wider, okay? We come into Nathan now, and it's exactly the same again. All we've done is increase the range in there, so it's a bigger move. It's a bit slower, there's a bit of a pause in there, only a momentary one, it's not a huge pause, but it's just made it a bit bigger, which has increased the intensity. Get yourself ready, and let's go! Now, as I said earlier, um, you could also look at this as, as correctional type stepping. So, if you're out and about, and you're walking, and you ch you're challenged by something, so the road is uneven, uneven or something like that, you may tend to feel a little bit challenged balance-wise. These are the sort of steps that you could make as far as that is concerned. Not so much as far as Nathan is concerned, unless you're a fan of Monty Python, obviously, and the Ministry of Funny Walks. But um, not that that's funny, just that, you know, if you, were doing that on the if you were doing that on the street, people probably would think it was funny. It's more down to the type of move that's happening here with Becky, yeah? Um, so it's a good thing to practice. Um, I say this about where we are but it's common around the whole of the country our pavements are not particularly flat and smooth they're challenging uh, and our balance can be quite easily challenged so mastering this sort of skill is is a great thing to do as far as everyday life is concerned there you go that is your minute we're moving on we have our rotate and punch with a single leg added in there as well and the single leg is comes down to the stance so we come to ben who's in our easy position and there we have, <laughs> there we have, <laughs> there we have that move. So we start from chest height, we take it up towards the ceiling diagonal wise. Split stance there, so both feet are down onto the floor, okay? We come to Becky, who's in our medium position, exactly the same move. We've got a split stance in there with the back foot onto the toes and a weight lifted in. So. If you wanted to go from our easier option to our medium option but didn't have weight available, you can come onto your toes at the back. That will give you that additional. We come into Lee now, who's in our uh, harder position. And again, we've got that balance. So have a look. The foot is lifted. It doesn't have to be huge off the floor, yeah? Have it available so you can pop it down. And don't be afraid to pop it down as well. I'm going to call out 30 seconds for this so you can change 
your leg over. It's going to be easier to do that than try and change every time on that balance, especially. Okay? So you ready? Let's go. So again, think about your posture. Imagine you're trying to lift something up uh, as far as this is concerned. So if you don't have a weight in there, you can still add your own body resistance in. Um, it's, it's about resisting against that move, not letting the arms be in control, you controlling them. Yeah? Uh, that movement into the middle gives you that chance to reset, get your posture right, and away you go. And again, don't be afraid to put that foot down if you need to, as far as this is concerned. It's a, it's a challenge as far as your balance is concerned. You're turning the head, you're turning the body. That is your 30 seconds. Each of those movements in itself is going to challenge you. And when you stood on one leg as well, there's a lot of balance challenge in there. So take those outward steps. Take those correctional type steps we just talked about and put those in there if you need to regain your balance. Work within your own level, so if you can't take the ball too high or the weight too high, then take it to where it's comfortable for you. Remember, your range is the correct range, okay? Keep going, though. Keep breathing. Breathe naturally in through your nose and out through your mouth, and we're almost there. That is your minute, and we move on to our last one for today, our split stance with a bent-over row. So this is the one that has a variety of hip hinges into it, okay? So we come to Nathan firstly. Split stance, uh, foot at the back is slightly lifted off the heel, but it's, it's the bulk of the foot is still making contact with the floor. Elbows are tucked in, and he's pulling something towards his um, lower chest region, so towards the bottom rib, yeah? Um, we take it to uh, medium level, and that back leg has come into a stand onto the toes and we've added weights in here. Now, if you wanted to go from the easier option to the medium option, you have the ability there without adding weights in just to come into that split stance on onto your toes. We go to our harder option, and this is balanced on one leg. So it's a bit like a Superman type pose. Um, we've got the weight there as well, bringing it back in. And again, if you need to pop that foot down to regain your balance, do. I'll shout out your 30 seconds for you so you can change over your lead leg. Are you ready? Let's go. So controlled here. Now, I, I said uh, that Nathan was pulling something towards his chest, but well, that's what you want to picture. You're actually picking something up, you're pulling it in. Have a look at the elbows. They're tucked in. So in this, we're working into the upper back as well. Can you feel that between shoulder blades, Nathan? Yeah? So that's where we're aiming as far as that is concerned. We come into Ben, and again, we should be feeling that into our um, muscles between our shoulder blades. Shoulder, this is called our rhomboids, yeah? Um, when we get to our 30 seconds, which is now, you're going to change over your lead leg. Now here, um, what's going to happen with this is, Becky should be feeling it between her shoulder blades as well, yeah? But she's also going to feel it into that balanced leg. So the leg that she's balancing on, she's got a lot of work going on into her um, quads there. My brain went blunt then. Into her quads there to actually keep that balanced position going, yeah? Uh, so you're working your leg as well as working the upper back. Here, it's going to be more focused into that upper back because there's no balance in there. Here, it, there's going to be some challenge into the quads, but it's not going to be as much as it is for anything uh, for any of the other positions. That is your minute. Well done, everybody. So that is your circuit for today. What we need you to do is have a cool down. You're talking about a five to ten minute cool down, okay? Start higher and bring it down lower. So uh, you want to go from a, a quite a good pace to a gradual pace. It could be a march. It could be walk around. It could be anything that starts a little bit more intense and lowers gradually over that five minutes. Make sure you rehydrate yourself as well. That's your circuit for a Tuesday morning. Hope you enjoyed it. Please let us know your comments and feedback. Say hi to us as you do always and give us some feedback on how you found it. There's some good stuff in there today that's, that's new. There's a lot of balance work in there today and balance is really important. Um, it's one of the things that we take for granted but as, as we progress through life our balance becomes challenged more and more and it's one of the things we need to actually focus on. So some really good work in there and some good options for you to go from a, um, a base level to medium level to a higher level quite easily. We'll say goodbye to the folks. We'll have our next circuit tomorrow at uh, 6.15. So tomorrow night at 6.15 we'll have another circuit for you. And then coming in um, August, um, which it is now, isn't it? But coming in a couple of weeks' time, we've got our new class, which will be on a Friday for you, which is going to be about three-dimensional movements. Um, and it's about, um, well, it's about three-dimensional. Watch this space. More information coming. So we'll say goodbye to everybody. So here we have uh, Lee saying goodbye. 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 <laughs> Nathan. See ya. See ya. Ben. Goodbye. And Becky. And bye from me. See you soon. <laughs> bye.